Hello and welcome to the first episode about how to make a really simple fluid simulation. In this episode, of course, we need to set up our project so we can draw something on our canvas. Um, yeah, it will be a little bit sim similar to the Richard Barty um, tutorial uh, when we did that, but this will be a little bit improved. So. Um, might be good not to copy that from the Richard Barty tutorial and just code along with me and uh, I think this solution will be my general um, approach for drawing something. Alright then, um, I think we can start with creating our files. I already did one this is the main HTML file. I am also creating two uh, more files. One will be called simulation.js and one will be called um, playground.js. And first I go to the simulation.js um, file and here I'm going to say class simulation. This will have a constructor an update method with the delta time and a draw method. And here I'm already um yeah draw a rectangle um just to make sure everything's working. CTX will our uh, will be our canvas context. We will that declare in the main HTML file uh, in a couple of minutes. So I'm here gonna say um, CTX begin path then CTX dot rect. Just gonna draw a simple rectangle. Position twenty thirty with the width and height of fifty. Then the fiddle style will have a color of this will be a orange one. Then we of course need to call fill and close. There we go. Oh, close path. There you go. Okay, that's our simulation class for this episode. Um, now we can, I think we can go to the main HTML file and implement the main HTML code. All right, um, since we are doing everything in the browser, we need the HTML tags, then a head, of course. And here I'm going to say the title will be uh, 2D fluid simulation. Okay. Then I'm gonna have a style. And this style um, makes sure first um, that the screen will be in the center of our monitor. Uh, I mean the canvas will be in the center of our screen. <laughs> and yeah. I'm going to say here much in zero. All right. Then um, I want to set some things for the canvas. Uh, I, I think I'm first going to do the body. All right. So let's do the body first. And here I'm going to say the canvas, which will have a ID of oops, canvas. This will be a width of 1280 pixels pixels and a height of 720 pixels it's also gonna have a style um, with a border just to see where our boundaries are it will be solid one pixel wide and color of black Okay, and that's our canvas. Then we need to import um, our files. The first file 
well we did already the two files we created them already so we can already import them this will be playground chairs and then the other one script source um, simulation chairs there we go okay now I'm, I think I can already set the style now actually um, I think oh yeah I forgot that one moment here we go okay um, yeah when I now switch to the browser um, you're gonna see something like this um, not that pretty also I forgot to add something to the style to make it really in the center the canvas um, this will be our canvas so let's do that because we need to set some canvas uh, things here all right this will be uh, displayed as a block there you go and it's gonna have a margin of 20 pixels with auto there we go uh, and then I'm gonna set the body also to a color to make it look more like my introduction uh, video and this will be two four two three two one there we go and if we now go to the browser again we should see something like this here you can see our border our canvas is in the middle that looks pretty good so far all right um and then um i think we can start yeah i think we can start implementing the playground js file this will be of course a class of playground which also has a constructor and this will have a variable just dot simulation just say new simulation background will also have these methods update and draw and I'm also passing the delta time in here and here I'm gonna call this dot simulation dot update with the delta time and in the draw method also this dot simulation dot draw okay and then I have some uh, three other methods. These are just for input uh, handling like uh, mouse movement, mouse down and mouse up. So I'm gonna add them too. The first one is on mouse move. This will pass a coordinate x and y and here I'm gonna say console.log mouse moved to here I'm just gonna print these things out. There we go. Same thing for on mouse down. Though here um, there will be just a button number. And here I'm gonna say uh, console log. I forgot the. There we go. Um, and here I'm gonna say mouse button rest with the button number okay and then I have the mouse up which also has the button and here also the same thing actually I can copy this line here and paste it in there and this will be uh, released all right um, I think now we already have all we need for the simulation and background now we need to implement the main html file and this will be a little bit of code now so oh let's start with a new script tag 
And first I'm going to retrieve the canvas. So var canvas equal to document dot get element by ID. Of course, um, if you have a framework, if you're doing this on Z sharp or somewhere else, um, you can set up your project like you want. The main part, the main important thing is that you have simulation and the playground files um, structured like this. And um, yeah, this is just a thing for JavaScript and HTML. Of course, we need to do that. Um, yeah, then I'm going to get the context, the canvas context. And here I'm going to say canvas.get. Uh, context two D. Okay, and uh, then we have some variables. First one will be last time. This is performance dot now. Last time, current time. I'm gonna explain it in a short minute. Equal to zero. And the delta time. And we are using these three here to calculate the delta time, the time between two frames, which is this one here. And then we have the we have a variable called playground. Playground will be a new playground, of course. Come on. Okay. Um, then we have a function called update playground. Which will have a data time as parameter. Here I'm saying playground update and playground draw. I'm going to pass the delta time in here. Then we have another function. This will be called main loop. And here um, we're saying window request animation frame. This will uh, result in a infinite loop basically. And so we can um, see what's going on. Like we can see moving objects. And yeah, uh, in your framework, probably you don't need to do that anymore. There will be already a, uh, a, yeah, a, a update method or of some sort. So it depends on what you're using. And here I'm going to calculate now the delta time. And we can do this by getting the current time, which is performance.now. Okay, then we calculate um, the delta time. I'm gonna s I'm gonna set a comment here. Delta time calculation, and then after everything, after updating the playground with the delta time, um, I'm gonna say the last time is our current time. Okay, so the last time when we go here again in the next. Um, loop then the last time well will be the time from our last iteration <laughs> yeah and uh, here we can now calculate the data time and the data time is calculated by the time right now minus the time we needed for the last frame or the last iteration and I'm gonna divide that by 1000 so we have seconds and not milliseconds Okay, that looks good so far. Um, still, I need to call um, this main loop method to start the loop, and I'm going to do this right below the new playground, um, uh, right below the playground variable. Okay, um, I think this should already work, maybe. Let's jump to the browser. Don't forget to save. And there we go. We have our uh, rectangle we declared in, I think it was, yeah, in the simulation.js file. Cool. So it's already drawing something. 
uh, but we don't have um, inputs now. We don't have a mouse position. We're going to do that now too. So back to Visual Studio. And at the bottom below the main loop, I'm going to create another function. Actually, we're going to, no, yeah, I'm going to just create one function more. And this will be get mouse position. Here we need to pass the canvas and a event. Then um, I retrieve the I will retrieve the canvas bounding client rect. That's the um, well, it's the bounding rect of the canvas, <laughs> basically. Uh, yeah, we can do this by canvas get bounding bounding client rect okay and we need that to um, transform our mouse position into a local mouse position relative to the canvas and here I'm saying x is event client x minus rect dot left and y is event dot client y minus rect dot uh, top. All right, and that's our mouse position. Um, now I'm going to add three event listeners and then we're going to fire this on mouse move, on mouse down and, and so on um, to the background. So we have a mouse position and all these things accessible in our background then. All right, so this will be canvas at event listener. Here I'm saying uh, mouse move. So I have a function um, with the event. And here I'm going to retrieve the mouse position. So mouse is equal to get mouse position with the canvas and the event. And then I'm going to say playground on mouse move. And I'm passing the mouse.x and mouse.y position. There we go, also a false. All right. And uh, then I think we can copy this one three times. Okay. One, we need one thing for on mouse down and one for um, on mouse up. And um, we are not needing the mouse position anymore, so we can delete this line and this line. And here I'm going to say, I'm just making sure that it's right. I'm going to copy this method uh, on mouse down. And I'm going to say on mouse up for the other one. Oops, there we go. And I'm passing here the event dot um, button. Right, and I can do that also to the other one. There we go. And I think that's it now for our HTML file. So save, hit refresh in the browser. Um, I'm going to switch my window. There we go. And we already see there's our mouse position. On the top left, there's the zero zero coordinate. And uh, on the top and then in the bottom right, there is our, uh, well, one uh, 1280 and 720. Okay, and now when I press the mouse, you can see mouse button pressed, mouse button released with the button zero. And when I do that with my right button, this will be mouse button pressed two and mouse button released two. Also, I think when I do the middle button, my scroll wheel, it's also working. Okay, and that's now everything we need to set up our simulation. In the next episode, we will, uh, I think we are creating, uh, yeah, 2D vectors. 
um because without the directors um it's going to be a little bit difficult um and yeah that's it for this episode um i hope you have a nice day and uh see you in the next one bye bye